Cue me on and go. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMAnow.com with the one and only Burt Watson, supposedly the babysitter to the stars of the UFC. How's it going, sir? Man, I'm trying to make it, baby. Good as usual. We're here in L.A. trying to get this stuff together for our fight Saturday night on Fox, which is going to be awesome, off the chain, Shogun, Machida, Bader, Vera. That's some heavy stuff, baby. You like being in LA? Where are you from? Are you like a Philly I'm from guy? Philly. I'm from Philly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Philly, the city of brotherly love, <laughs> home of all the fighters, baby. Boxing. So yeah, did you come up in like a boxing background? It seems yeah, like yeah. I, I, got that attitude. I actually came up in boxing and I started in boxing with Joe Frazier. Uh, God rest and love his soul. Uh, I, I I was with Joe until 1995, and then met Dana White. And, that was it. I met Dana White doing a, a fight in Vegas. It was either Costa Zoo and Zab Judo or one of those fights. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that was it. I'd started in UFC 30, 31 with my first fight. Oh, okay. And I've been here ever since, baby. Right when Zufa and Dana and the Fertitas yes. were really kind of yes. starting to take it over. 33 yes. was when their they official started, when, Yeah, when they started to take it over. Nice. Very good. What, what's your job description? What do you do? Uh, well, you, you do know. everything that needs to be done. <laughs> You, make sure you know, if, if I want to say it directly and nicely for the camera, I'll say that my job basically is to organize and coordinate everything that involves the fighters and their workout rooms and the media and the press conference and getting back and forth to the weigh-in and fight night, assigning dressing rooms and getting the dressing rooms. And I do everything and anything for them that they have a comfort level up here and up here. Because if there's no comfort level with the fighter here and here, it's hard to get in that cage and do what you got to do. They can't have nothing on their head but what they're supposed to do in that cage. So nicely put, I just make sure that they got a comfort level that they can do what it is that they need to do. It seems like you really do that for them. When, when the walkout starts, you're usually just a very positive influence. Like, okay, baby, <laughs> time to go to work. Let's baby. get it done. <laughs> Uh -huh. and, All and, night long. And, and, and I, that's that's how I, you know, kind of brought up and some mm -hmm. of the boxing coaches I've had. It seemed like, it seems to me, I'm like, that guy's helping them get their mind right, letting them relax, letting them know they, they, they've been there, done that, and it's time to go to work. Well, you know, a long time ago in my boxing career, I, I, I and not as a boxer, I mean working with boxers, I learned that the fighter or fighter needs a comfort level in his head that he's not only there just to fight and get his ass whooped. But he's there as an athlete, he's there to fight, to perform, and to do better for the next time. So I made up in my mind to be that liaison that gave them that comfort level. But also, I know what it is, man. Yeah. And I know where your head's got to be. Okay, tell me the truth. You've been around so long. Uh -huh. When that walkout starts, you see him in the locker room. Mm -hmm. Do you like kind of get that feeling like this guy's going to go out there and shock the world. This guy's not got it. He's too stressed out mentally. He's probably going to lose the fight. Do you kind of sometimes get a gut feeling? You know, you've seen him so many times. Well, well, my gut feeling I get during the course of the week. Yeah. Fight night, no. Because when them lights go on, they lights got to stay on. And sometimes when the lights go on, some people lights go out. But they're all... When those lights go on and they're standing in that holding area, every one of them has some sense of nerve and some sense of anxiety. And it, it, when it gets in that cage, it either flips on or it flips off. But on the way to the cage, they all feel it. So the guy, Especially when I'm yelling and screaming at them. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Sounds like the guys that run the betting lines would like to have your number and be like, hey, Bert, what's going on this week? Well, you know, I've also learned over the course that the best seat for me is on the fence. I don't pick and choose or don't have any favorites because I love them all and I do what I do, but I do what they need me to do to get them through that cage, out and home, baby. Did you ever think it was going to blow up like this, get a Fox deal, Fox, FX, Fuel TV? No idea. I had absolutely no idea. But I, do, I did know when I met Dana White and Lorenzo that the way those guys started putting things together and the way they treated people and the approach that they were taking, that it had legs. And when you create something that has legs, when it's time for it to take off, it'll take off. Do you, do you like, I, I assume you like Dana's attitude. It's basically, he's just a straight shooter. And, and I respect that. I respect someone that's going to tell you what's up is up instead of gossip and talking behind your back. Dana's, 
Dana, Dana I, just says it like it is. I love, I love Dana's attitude. There's in, in, in sports and athletics, there's nothing more comforting than the truth and somebody you can talk to. The truth. Upset? The truth, Brandon Vera, maybe? We'll see uh, what happens. I don't know. I hope he's all right in the head. He looks a little stressed uh, out. Uh, but. Well, well, you know what? He needs to be stressed out. Yeah. This is a big fight. If he wasn't stressed and a little comfortable, I'd be a little worried. But stress and, and, and stressed out and worried is good, baby. I guess we'll find out Saturday live on Fox. Free. Four big fights, guys. And uh, thank you, Mr. Watson. My pleasure. And you guys go to uh, ProMMANow.com. Subscribe to my YouTube page at DanTheWolfMan1. And uh, go to TheCombatSystem.com. Thank this you, guys. This is what we do, baby, and why we do it all night long. Yeah. All right. Thanks, sir.